Architecture. Throughout the world, remarkable craftsmanship and technical advances led to the construction of imposing and elegant buildings during the Middle Ages. Most people in Europe built houses with wood because it was cheap and plentiful. Unfortunately, it caught fire easily and tended to rot. Therefore, important buildings were constructed with stone. Castles and city walls were built with thick, well-laid stones. Cathedrals were designed with a new Gothic style. Instead of the rounded arches and sturdy pillars of the older Romanesque style, they had pointed arches, slender pillars, and high stained glass windows. Worldwide, buildings were becoming finer in shape and less bulky. The carved decorations of the Khmer temples and the roofs of the Ming palaces and the temples in China and the expert woodworking found in Japan made an architecturally rich period. Muslim Architecture The arrival of the Ottoman Turks in the Muslim world began a new lease of life for the Islamic architecture. Earlier Islamic styles gave way to the Seljuk and Persian influences, different from earlier styles in detail and shape. The newest Muslim architecture came from Turkey, Morocco, Afghanistan, and Samarkand, 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 where arches, domes, pillars, and mosaics were developed. In South America, high in the Andes, the Inca city of Machu Picchu was a remarkable feat of engineering. Here the Incas built high walls of massive stone, which fit together exactly. Not even an earthquake could move them. The city still stands today. The Tibetans built monasteries clinging to the precipitous Himalayan mountainsides, such as Potala in Lhasa. During the 1200s, the Ethiopians carved Christian churches out of solid rock, making them safe from any form of attack. These rock-cut churches still survive and do many other uh, grand buildings around this time and from this period.